Pretty much one year ago, I released my second production app, major, real, proper, enterprise software level app called Arbster.io. Arbster is a job planning app and safety management app for arborists, people who cut down and climb trees. And I developed this for this particular niche for them to plan their jobs, do risk evaluations, as well as keep track of the gear that they're using for the particular job. Since creating the app, I have had 461 accounts on the app. So that's the number of accounts that I have registered now. A couple of people have deleted their accounts, removed their uh, information, etc. So I'm estimating that around 500 people in total have created an account on the app and around 30, it seems like, have removed it. So that's why we have around 465 users currently on the app. Now, most of these users have actually used the app once and they've abandoned the app. So currently we're at around 20 active users per month. So it's a very, very small app and revenue from it is therefore not huge, but we have made some money that we're gonna be getting to. Now, one interesting fact is that in April of 2024, Google actually removed my entire Google developer account due to inactivity. I had made my last update for Arbster, August of 2023, and in April of 2024, they just decided to remove my account, which is very weird. It's not really, you know, good for developers. I probably did get a heads up about it, but I didn't really feel like I got an adequate heads up that they would be removing my account. So I had done no action and they removed it. Wonder Sagas and Arbster were both removed. Now, they weren't big apps on the Google Play. People who have them installed can still use them, but I kind of cut down how many new uses were required. Now, in total, we have around 740 downloads of the app. 326 of these are from iOS. So quite a few are from Android, which typically has lower revenue. And this is though interesting because for my case, that doesn't seem to be the case. And we will get to that when we talk about the money. In total, since launching this a year ago, I have had 27 paying customers. And that is not necessarily people who have made a payment. That is people who have started the paid plan on a trial. And 16 of these users have converted to a paying plan. And I have three different subscriptions. I have a monthly one, I have a quarterly one, and I have a yearly one. This is an enterprise level or a business level software, so it's quite expensive. It's $20 per month if you're doing it per month, and it's, I think, $16 per quarter and $12 per month if you're subscribing for a whole year. A couple of people have subscribed for a whole year. Around 50% of people have subscribed for a year, 25% uh, for a quarter, and 25% for a month. Now, not a lot of people seem to be renewing the app. I think this is because of various things. One, I haven't really paid too much attention to updating it, and I need to do that, obviously, to keep people on the platform. Secondly, is that I think it's relatively hard for people to abandon the, how they're doing risk assessments right now. But we're talking about the money, so that's a whole different video how I can approve this app. Now, second of all, it should be mentioned that I have had pretty much zero costs for this app. The cost was, you know, developing it in terms of spending my time, but I have done no marketing whatsoever, no paid initiatives. I bought a couple of flyers and a little brochure ones for the Swedish Tree Climbing Championship last year, which I made a video about, but that wasn't really the focus of that exhibition. That was to promote Arborispedik and the other business that I am involved in. So there have been pretty much no effort and no costs for promoting this app. Just a few Instagram pushes, you know, word of mouth, etc. So I think that's pretty decent considering that. And I, in hindsight, I should definitely have put much more effort into marketing this than I have. Two other things worth mentioning is that the database has been completely free. I'm storing around 600 megabytes of people's photos, profile pictures, job pictures, etc. on the app. And I have spent none, no, nothing in terms of database costs for Firebase. So I'm using a Firebase backend and I think the peak number of subscription listeners, i.e. connections to the beta database that I've had, is around 50, which is well below the you know payment threshold. So the database has been completely free, the app has been completely free, the only cost has been the Apple developer program, as well as the Google Play developer program. Looking at the app, we have around 15 active users every month now since the last half year, as it's slowed down a little bit, as the word of mouth has kind of died out. But what's interesting is that it's a very stable app. We're not really seeing any crashes, we're not seeing any major bugs, we haven't really seen any major, you know, people who want their money back or anything like that. So it's a very good app in terms of performance. Now it's just functionality maybe can be improved. Now, but with all this said, so from these 27 users and the 16 who converted to paying users, i.e. they actually made a payment, we have made a total of 1,001 exactly on the dot dollars in around a year. So this is decent money. I've definitely broken even on the app in terms of what I've spent on it. However, I spent, did quite spend quite a some time developing this app. So in terms of my hourly rate, it's probably pretty low, but $1,001 from this. And now this is the interesting part. $456 of this comes from Apple and the remaining comes from Android. This is interesting because downloads is pretty much 50-50 Android and iOS, but Android has actually made more money 
Now, the sample size is very small and the amount of revenue is relatively small too, so you're not really easy to judge. But the iOS has actually made less money than the Android version of the app has, which is unusual because typically iOS users spend more money than Android users do. So in total, that's the entire statistics, very short, very, you know, a little bit of an update video. You can drag this out for as long as possible, going through all the different metrics, but that's the breakdown. Around 700 downloads, 460 accounts now from a total of 500 created, 27 paying users, 16 users who actually made a, you know, subscription payment. And from this, I made a, to a total of 1,001 US dollars. Now, not great, not a lot of money, but it is what it is. It's a fun project. It was my second big app. Now I'm on to other big things. First of all, I'm developing an app for a client, which I think is going to be huge for them. Second of all, I had my other app called Venture Pals. Definitely go check it out in the comments. If you're watching this type of video, it's probably an app that will be very relevant for you. It's a social accountability app where you can match with people dating style and then you can connect with them. They can see your tasks, you can see their tasks and you can keep each other accountable to your tasks over the week. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to support any of my stuff, you can find all the links down below. And if there's anything else you want to see, then feel free to let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Peace.